maybe you're checking out how to play bright by echo smith it's a very simple song it's very easy to play you've got um, your g chord c add nine d sus four e minor seven and you know you're moving around those chords for the whole song so for the whole song you have your ring and pinky finger on third fret of first string and second string and you're just changing with your these two fingers okay so in order to play with the original track to be in the same key as the original track you need to tune down all your strings half step but i'm going to show you in standard tuning my guitar is in standard tuning because they play live in standard tuning so if you want to play with the you know recording what you can also do is just search the live version and most of their performances are in standard tuning and you can play along with that and just in the original song they are half step down okay so this will be e flat a flat d flat and so on so let's see how to play it the intro goes like this and then the verse comes i think the universe is okay that's the verse over there so you can see i'm on g major third fret on the top string second fret on a string and third fret on the b string and e string Okay, now first I want to show you the strum pattern because that's really important and that's um, you know the same for the whole song. It's down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay. So the first down stroke can actually be on the bass note. So for G chord, you will be on the top string that will be your down and then on the next down stroke you can go on the lower strings okay and then up down up also on these strings okay so or if you want to go complete down that you can do that as well Okay, so if when you go to C add 9, you will have the bass note on the A string. Okay. So the main strumming pattern is down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, so from the beginning, you're on G major. And immediately you want to move to C add 9 and for that you need to bring down um, your shape on the first and second fingers this will be on third fret A string and this will be on second fret fourth string all right so C add 9 you got okay so that's the change over there you go down down up down up down down up change to down down up on C at 9 okay so down down up down up down down up change and then go back to G chord okay so down down up down up down down up down down up down down up down up down down up down up that's the intro just before the singing okay now sometimes in the live version they like to extend this intro a little by going on G to C at 9 then again G to C at 9 you know just to um, create the intro of the song down down up down up down down up change down up back to G down down up down up down down up change again down down up then go back to G you know that's what they do sometimes on the live version keep going from G to C to G to C and then after a while they start singing Again. Now. okay so this change little change we are doing in the middle also during the song so that's uh, important for you to know so the intro final time I'm gonna go slowly now now the bus I think the universe. okay so stay on cheat just when the lines begin down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 
and change to F sharp over here okay so this comes I'll sing a little I think the universe is by my side okay so just when you know, it's by my side you want to move to F sharp so what you want to do is down down up down up down down up down up down down up down up now the change comes down down up and then down down up on the F sharp just on the top string okay you gotta move to the second fret on the first with your first finger okay so I think the universe again down down up down up down down up down down up okay down down up down down up and then you want to move to E minor okay so for E minor you gotta have your second fret on the fifth string and second fret on the fourth string all right okay so once again down down up down up down down up down up down down up down up down down up down down up down down up 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 down up Okay, so four times on the E minor. So once again, I think the universe up down up down down up down up down down up down down up down down up down up down down up down up three four move to C at nine. Okay, move to C at nine down down up down up down down up down up down down. Now when you come to C at 9, you just want to do it twice. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then you want to move to D sus4. Okay? So for D chord, you have your second fret on third string, third fret on the B string, and second fret on the first string. When you do D sus4, you gotta have your third fret on um, the E string. Okay, so you can either have D chord or add your ring finger over there. Okay, so the guitarist for Echo Smith, yeah, I think he uses D sus4. So you're gonna just have your ring finger on third fret. So C twice, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, D sus4. And then go back to G. Okay, so now I'm gonna do from the very beginning, just when the vocals begin. Let's start all over again. I think the universe up down up down down up down up down down up down down up down down up down up down down up down up three one more time four C at nine one two D sus four one two back to G. So you see what I did? What I did was just what we did in the intro. So I told you this part, this G to C at 9 switch will be done for the whole song um, quite often. Okay, so I'll start from the beginning now. I'll start from um, the D sus4, sorry, from C at 9. Twice, D chord, G. Up down up down down up change down up back to G down down up down up down down up down up then you start with the new lines for the verse okay now there's a little improvisation on the E minor and C okay that I did when I was playing the demo the, in the very intro when that I played the song when I showed you a little um, a snippet of the song I did this improvisation and he, the, the guitarist for Echo Smith, also does this during the live version. So this is how it goes. In the middle, I'll start from the beginning. Down, up, down, down, up, down. E minor. Okay, so that's the improvisation. So what I do is, when I go to E minor, okay, so I leave 
the first string open and then I hit the second string the third fit where it was okay so this will be down down up down up down down okay and then first string and second string okay once again down down up down up down down and the first string and second string okay so here on the on the fourth time now and then go back to C down up down up down down on C also you can do this improvisation you know down down up down up down down okay and then up down up on the D chord you know you can do another improvisation on the D chord um, you go from D to D sus4 you know have the ring finger um, have um, the second fit on the D on the first string and then bring your pinky in you know so up down up down down you saw back to G all right so that's a little improvisation let's start from the beginning I'll sing along and I'll do it really slowly and then we'll go to the pre-chorus of the song okay so from the beginning I think the universe is on my side heaven and earth are finally Down up down down up down down up down up down down up down again in spring for starters down down up down up down down up down down up down down up 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 down up down Make me sing You know that's the pre-chorus. Okay, so for pre-chorus, as you can see, um, when you end the verse twice, okay, so I'll start from the C and D where you move from C at 9 to D sus 4. Night cycle. That's the way it should be down down up down up down down up down up down down up down up down down up down down up okay so on the fourth time you do the same thing that we did in the verse move from G to F sharp on the top string down down up down down up and then you want to move to E minor chord that's where the pre-chorus begins okay you make me sing oh, la, la, la. move to C at night okay so E minor is twice down down up down up down down up down up go to C at night down down up down up down down up down up okay so I'll start from the ending of the verse to show you once again how we move into the pre-chorus okay so I'll start from the C at 9 and D Nights are good, and that's the way it should be. Up down, up down, down, up down, up down, down, up down, up down, down, up down, down, up E minor. Twice, la la C at night. You make me go once again on the E minor twice on the C at night just once okay so on the C at 9 the second time you go just once down down up down up because then you want to hit the D chord okay just once just before you go to the chorus okay so sing the pre-chorus once again let's go to the pre-chorus 
start with the ending of the verse and that's the way it should be D G chord sorry here you I forgot you want to move to G to C at 9 I forgot that you know you can do that you make me see you C at 9 and E minor again and C at 9 just once down I'm down I'm down on the D chord then you move to the chorus and you say that should be start tonight where you dazzle by the same constellation so you see the chorus is pretty simple. What you want to do is you want to move from C at 9 just once. Go to G chord. Just once again. Move to E minor. Move to D sus 4. Okay, so did you see that should start tonight? One more time. For you does my E minor consolation. One more time. Up down, up down, down, up down, up down, down, up down, up down, down. Again. You wanna stop on D chord. Down, down, up down, up down. So bright. So bright, okay, because then you want to move to the bright, um, the very line of the chorus. So, here um, I'll start from so bright, so bright. So, here you want to move to the same thing that we've been doing G chord down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. F sharp over here and go to E minor down down up down up and then C at 9 down down up down up. okay so the chorus I'm sorry the second part of the chorus bright down up so bright down up down up C at 9 down down up down up okay bright C at 9 Again, so all right, then you move to the second verse. Okay, so I'll do the whole chorus one more time. Did you see that should start tonight? Were you dazzled by the same constellation? Stop. So bright. See again. Bright. So bright. See second verse. Da, 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 da. Same as the first verse. Not gonna go through it. Same. Four times. Four, move to C at nine. Into this, D is four. Back to G. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, C. Back to G. Ooh, la, la, la. Again, E minor. Back to the chorus. Did you see it start tonight? Same as the first chorus. Na, 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 na. G chord, E minor, and D sus. One more time. E minor, 
D one more time. This is the last time. Stop. Go to. Now here on, on the second chorus, bright, so bright. This is actually the bridge. Okay, so the second part of the second chorus where you should be going bright, so bright. You know, this happens in the first chorus, but when you come to the second chorus, this doesn't happen on the guitar. On the guitar, you're going to change the chords. Okay, so we're going to call that the bridge. Instead, you go over here, bright, so bright, and I get lost. Okay, so here what you want to do is move to E minor chord. Pretty simple. Down, down. Just second fret, second fret on the fifth and fourth strings. You gotta go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. You go to A7. Alright, for A7, you just have your third string open and you have your second fret and second fret on the fourth string and the second string. Okay, so that's your A7. So, bright. I'm down, I'm down, down, so bright. Okay, now on the live version, the guitarist likes to do this. He likes to add his pink ring finger on the third fret of this, mm, the second string. You know? You know, this is the same right hand that we used on D to D sus4, if we remember. You know, we did this, the same thing is happening on the A7, but you don't have to do it. You can just, you know, go with your A7, so you, do, you don't have to do this. Okay, so, bright, up, down, up, so bright, again, and I get lost, back to E minor, and you're back to A7, and that is it, that is it for the bridge. Then you go back to um, the chorus lines okay so what I want to do is now I'm gonna begin singing with the second chorus and then I'm gonna show you how the second part of the second chorus goes into the bridge okay so the second chorus did you see the shooting start tonight four times it's four times E minor D again to get me at the year when the moon and Neptune got it right I'm shining E minor bridge so bright and I get lost in your eyes then you go back to the chorus did you see but now in this chorus, which is the final chorus, you're doing the same thing from C at 9 to G to E minus 7 to D chord, but the strumming is a bit low because the mood of the song is kind of like um, there's less instruments, and then when you go to the chorus one more time, then you're gonna you know really start strumming. Okay, so just when you finish the bridge, um, you're gonna play the same chords that we do in the chorus, but just you're just gonna strum a bit lighter. Okay. Um, to give it that um, mood for the song. So, did you see the shooting start tonight? Back to C at 9. Constellation again. You should be inspired to get me at the year when the moon and Neptune died. And start strumming one more time. I can you and the moon and Neptune got it right. Again, I can you and the Neptune got it right. Guru, bright, so bright. This is now the same as first chorus. Okay, so here now we're not going E minor and A7. This is now what we are doing that we did during the first chorus that I taught you. Down, down, up, down, down, up, E minor. C. Bright, so bright, and C. Again, just keep doing it. This is the very ending of the song. 
last time I get lost in your eyes. Tonight. Okay, so on tonight you can just hit the G card. And that is the end of the song. Okay, so the important thing is in this song is to know when to change cards because there are, even though we're just playing around um, C at 9, G, D, and E minor, really simple cards, but you gotta understand when to change them, okay? So that is it for the song. Please make sure you hit that thumbs up button because I really appreciate all of your support. And make sure you subscribe to my channel as well for more guitar lessons. And I will see you guys next time. Till then, goodbye.